Me lovely pussycats, how you doing Leo? Can you do me a favour and please try not to click off this reading and try and give it time before you actually click off? I know it may not seem important to you, uh, but during your channel messages there was a lot of clicking, a lot of picking and a lot of looking, okay? Uh, like choosing a lot of things, maybe around a seven energy, okay? But try to keep the energy consistent and not pop in and then click off and then come back later and then click off and pop in and come back, okay? Because the algorithm works off trying to keep an even flow of the channel, okay? So I really would appreciate that, guys, okay? And basically just watch it when you have the time to watch it. It just helps out more, okay? Uh, but it doesn't matter really. But uh, it's not a, like a rule of thumb, but it really does help if you can try and remain consistent. Okay, so you might be looking at a personal assistant or you might be looking to train someone up. And it's like, I'm looking for a personal assistant, or I do, and I need some assistance with it. But this, this assistant needs an assistant. So they could have like this slash paradox energy where they have like a Leo slash Aquarian, but they could have that in their chart, this person that's being an assistant, but they're being very persistent that they want something, okay? Because there was a lot of like choosing and picking where to go in your channeled stuff that was just before this reading. So it feels like that you might be training someone up and trying to give them a load of options and saying, okay, have you got it? And they're like, okay, let me tell you one more time then, and let's go over it again and let's do it one more time. Have you got it? And they're like, no, I haven't got it yet. And you're like, okay, let's do it one more time then. Let's say, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Have you got it? No, oh, I don't know. And it feels like that you're training someone up to do something. Okay, something like that, okay? But I don't know if this person's like not getting it or, or just like, it, it, like you're in a rush, like you're in a rush. And it feels like that you're working and stuff like that and you're having to like speed someone through a training process, okay? And like you're at work with someone and you're training them up and saying, okay, now have you got it? Can you do this? And they're like, look, we don't have much time left before you're going to be asked to do shift, okay? So can you do all of these kind of things if I tell you and speed you through this process and tell you how to do it? Are you going to be able to do this on your own if I'm not with you? Okay, you've kind of got that kind of thing up, like I'm trying to tell you how to do it, but are you going to be able to do this on your own without me being there? Okay, so that kind of thing, like trying to get someone uh, to do something by themselves instead of you doing it for them or being with them. Okay, so that kind of thing. It's like half starting a job, okay, like a half ass job, okay, and it feels like, or Rob, okay, and it feels like that you're trying to like, like you don't want to get a bodge job and you want to make a very good job of it, but you need someone to help you, but they don't know what they're doing, okay? So kind of like, say if you were building a wall or a brick wall or something like that and you wanted to make a really good job of it and you have like, you say that you are a worker, okay, and you know what you're doing or the other person does, okay, and then you ask them and they come in and then you say, okay, look, I, we, we've got to make a very good job of this right? because it's a big contract and we've got to make a good job of it and we can't really make a mistake. So I can train you, but I don't have long to do that. If I'm not here, can you do that on your own when I'm not here? So it feels like trying to speed someone through a learning process. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's got something to do around processed food, processed food. And your channel messages came up with a lot of like uh, people that work in shops or supermarkets and places like that of like uh, food consumption or trying to make something and get someone to be able to make it for you so you don't have to do it and get them to do it but like training a person up okay okay so that's that so can you take over the job like a manager for instance they're saying also like a manager and can you do all of these things if i'm not here so it's kind of like that you've just got a promotion and someone said to you, okay, we're going to promote you, but we want you to do it now. Okay, we need to train you up, but then you need to make sure that all these other people are okay. So it's kind of like this very confused manager, different job, new job, starting a new job, someone trying to tra train you up maybe. And then like, I haven't got long in order to be able to get to remember how to do this. And then, okay, the more I do it, the more I learn, but it feels like rushed energy, like I need to do it very quickly to be able to, so I don't lose customers or do it very quickly so I don't, do you know what I mean? Like this rushed energy, okay. Okay, Leo, so that's your, just check out your channeled stuff though. Uh, so this is your tarot reading and let's see what's coming up for Leo for July. Leo for July, what's Leo got coming up for July? Okay, so yeah, there you go, traveling, going out. <laughs> so you wanna watch your channeled stuff, okay? Because it was a lot to do with around going out, planning, planning on where to go on your days off or your week off or something like that or a week away or a few days away or like planning to go out for a meal and food and stuff. But like planning, like, because like, it feels like that we're, we're making a plan, okay? But we've got things to do, but we need to train people so I can have days off. 
So it's kind of like that you're waiting for your rotor to change or something around your work schedule, okay, is what I'm hearing. Like my work schedule has changed and it's now giving me some more free time off work so I finish early. So it feels like that you're training someone up so it can leave you more free time to be able to spend with your partner to make plans to go out, is what I'm hearing. Okay, so individually as a Leo or slash Aquarius, you might be training somebody up, okay, at work. And then when you have done that, that gives you a bit more free time to be able to have some days off. So it's kind of like that you might be a manager and you're looking for cover workers so you can have some time off or they can give you some time off. Do you know what I'm saying? So that seems to be what you've got. Uh, this could also be the summer holidays as well. Summer holidays where kids start to break up from school and you now as mothers have to start planning where you're going to take your kids and where you're going to go on your summer holidays and stuff like that. And if we're going to have a few days away, where are we going to go and, and all of that kind of thing. And all the kids want to know that, well, we want to go to Butlins. We want to go to Skegness. We want to go here, and they're like, well, oh, just, well, yeah, go on then, just like, but we can't go to all of those places, but we can go to one. Okay, now there is something that came up for a lot of you guys that may be like slash Aquarian energy, uh, because we're looking at eight, where it's like consuming and buying something, or something that you want to buy, but it is an acquired taste. So it was like a restaurant and wanting to go to somewhere specific or wanting to buy something Pacific, but needing to go somewhere to get it, okay? So it might even be going to the Pacific Ocean, okay, or something like that, or like a ferry ride, or France, or Francais, or something like, bonjour, we're gonna go to France, and we're gonna go, like, through the uh, Channel, <laughs> if you're going from France to over here, go through the Channel Tunnel, I'll meet you. <laughs> okay, like, but we're gonna go through the Channel Tunnel, or something like that, or we're gonna go and help a channel out, or <laughs> some of you, hopefully, might be helping me out. But like uh, meow, I'm hearing like Leo energy, but we're going to help me out, okay? Or meow, meow or Al, Alison, Ali, but we're going to help Al out, or Ali, okay? Or Ali Cat, but we're going to help out. Um, but like I said, for a lot of you, some of this is where you might be traveling and you're thinking about having some time off and then getting your work done first before you have this time off. So it feels like a back catalog as such. So I'm going to make a back load of energy of like readings or something and get them all done so I can put them all out so I can have some days off because that would be me, okay, as well. So like I'm going to do a load of things and put them all out so I can have a day or two off or plan to do that so I'm not behind. I'm actually in front because I've done them all, okay, like that. A little bit like what I'm doing now, really, <laughs> right, because obviously this is before July, but we are looking at July, okay. So there you go, the sun is shining. So you probably are going somewhere hot. It could be hot during this time, because it's kind of like summer and summer holidays. Summer loving happens so fast. Summer loving happens so fast. I met a boy crazy for me. He showed off, splashing around. Summer days drifting away. Oh, oh, oh. On a summer night, somebody could be from Greece, or you're going to Greece, or somewhere like that, but somewhere very hot, and you've planned your holiday, and you could well be going. If you're not fortunate enough in order to go anywhere on a plane ride, you could be going out in a car on a journey somewhere, but it would be spending time together, and it might even be with or without the family, I really don't know, because I'm definitely hearing you too, and you might be listening to you too in the car, and it's more of like with or without you, okay? So, like, I'm going with you, but I'm going to be going without you lot, <laughs> right? So you can't all come, right? So it's a bit like that. Like, you can't all come, but, you, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Um, but like I said, a few, like I said, a lot of you here, you're planning on going out with your partner somewhere, and you're making plans to go. Okay, I'm picking up like a moon energy through this fall, and I keep picking up something to do with the mum here, my mother. And I might not be going with my mother, or my mother might not be inviting me over to a family outing. Because <clears throat> it feels like families here through the sun also <clears throat> are like making a plan. But this moon energy that seems to be hidden in this corner here... It's got something to do with around like pissing on my matches, really. <laughs> like, you've just put my fire out. Like, you just told me something, and then you just pushed me out. You told me that I'm not invited, kind of thing. Like, this uninvited energy. 
Like, you're invited and you're invited, but you're not invited. <laughs> okay? So the uninvited. But it's kind of like, well, it's okay. I don't really want to be invited anyway because I've got my partner. I'm going to go and do something with them. Or Emily or Emma or Melissa or Maria or Matilda. But, like, I'm, you know, I've got plenty of things to do. And uh, I, I can do it with you or without you. But if the family are not offering me out, then pretty much I'm just going to go my own way and do my own thing with my boyfriend or girlfriend. So you might have a lot of family members that are all kind of, like, deciding... Like, if you've got elder kids or children that they might not all want to, like, like you know, do you want to come over here? Like, no, we don't really want to come on holiday with you. We're going to go on, you know, we're going to go somewhere else. I'm going to take my fiancé or to take, you know, my partner out and we're going to go and do something. But I'm sorry, we can't make it over to the family, like, uh, lodge or something like that. We can't make it over to the family lodge. We're all going to pretty much go and do something else. So it feels like this energy is scattered slightly with... Um, people deciding in the family that they may not want a family holiday, that they may want to just do things themselves. So that means that they might not want to come. It's not bad energy. I'm just picking up that some people are deciding that whether they want to do this family thing or whether they actually want to go out with their partner. Because yeah. there might be quite a lot happening with you, Leo. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, there you go. When I'm in love with the beautiful Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces somewhere. But uh, if you don't know about the numerology, you're going to have to watch those videos that are provided below there around numbers. Uh, but like they're coming in numbers by numbers. They're, they're coming in two by two is what I'm hearing. So like I'm with you girl or I'm with you boy or something like that. I'm with you. I've got you boy. Uh, there could be the same sex relationship is what I'm hearing. Like boy on girl and boy on girl or something like that. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it a boy? Is it a Oh, somebody could be pregnant in the family. Okay, is it a boy or is it a girl? Is it a boy or is it a girl? Is it going to be a boy or is it going to be a girl? What is it going to be? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what that is or someone's thinking about pregnancy here. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? Or is it someone that's uh, like a grandma or someone is like uh, visiting their kids and their children? And they're like, well, we're going to have one boy and one girl. Because it feels like that family members are coming over and it feels like that one of them is a boy and one of them is a girl or there is something about the boy. It might be Cameron. Okay, uh, but something about the boy, okay, so like Cam, Cameron, Camera, Camera, Cameroon, okay, some of this might be England, and you're watching England play, like Cameroon, okay, um, yeah, but in love with your partner, making plans and going out, basically, okay, and feeling good about it, having some time off, having a break, have a Kit Kat, have a pussy, <laughs> right, uh, Leo, what a good reading so far. Leo, Leo, something rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, um, for July. Leo, what have you got, Leo? Bam, oh shit, bruv, y'all got yourselves. So you could be dealing with anybody that is a Leo slash Aquarius of eight here, okay? So it's the only number that's basically come out. Um, but yeah, the one well, that represent anything. Um, uh, could be dealing with a Libra somewhere, maybe. Um, yeah, but I'm seeing the fact that uh, you're going out. There's nothing, <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. You're probably not even watching this reading. I don't know. It just feels like a lot of plans, okay, and a lot of, like, back rubs. I'm hearing a back rub or salt rub or something like that. And I'm going to buy myself a salt rub, okay, or, like, some salt. And I'm going to buy myself a bath salts. Or, like, I like taking a lot of baths with salt in it. Or, like, it doesn't even have to be a salt. It's, oh, okay, let's hope there's not an assault. Or an insult, I don't know what that is, or incense or adsense or something like that. But like, um, I'm looking for my adsense or something like that. I'm looking to put an advert out, an advert, advert, like advertising, advertising. Um, or I'm gaining profit, or I'm gaining profit off adsense. Here. Um, but something is being put out and it's also making itself money as it's put out. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm putting things out, but it's actually making money as I'm not even here. It's kind of like a business idea that someone has of selling things or they do sell a lot of things. And it's like this idea that happens where it makes money when it's not here. Because it's like this plan to be able to leave it behind, but work and money and finances are okay whilst not being here. Like I'm saying, it's like a plan uh, I'm also hearing that somebody might be like uh, renting out a house or a home or getting someone to look after their house or home whilst they're on holiday. And why I'm picking up that some of this might be a child or someone that's old enough to look after the house whilst 
the parents go away. Or it might be like someone has a really nice house and they say, look, can you just look after the house whilst we're not here and you can stay here for a week and then we're going. But I don't see that as a stranger. I see it as a family member. Like we want to go away for a little while and if we go away, can you stay here at the family house or home and look after it whilst we're away? Is what I'm picking up. Something like that. Or like, will they be okay if I'm not here? So it's kind of like a... Like, because I'm keeping up like a lot of activity around this sun here, okay, of like a family home. And is my family home going to be okay whilst me not being here? Okay. So I don't know if someone's being asked to look after a, a house whilst, whilst you're gone on holiday somewhere. Because um, I keep hearing this, can you keep an eye on things when I'm not here? Can you keep an eye on it while I'm not here? There was another message, though, that came out for another one where this surveillance camera was looking. So, excuse me, that might be something to do with this energy, but it's not bad. It's kind of like, can we put cameras up to look after them? Can we put Cameron up? Can we put Cameron up is what I'm hearing. Can you put Cam up or Cameron? Or can you put a camera up in order to, like, look after the baby, Janai? Like, someone's got a baby and they've got, like, a baby cam or a nanny cam or something like that. Or can you look after, like, can... Like dumping the kids with the grandma and saying, look, Nan, can you look after all of these whilst we have a break? We want to go away for a couple of days. Can you look after the kids? We're going to drop them off with you and then we're going to go out somewhere, is what I keep hearing for a lot of you. Um, yeah, because they're keeping up like surveillance, but there is no bad energy here to say that what that was channeled for another reading, because that went off into drug surveillance and God knows what else. But this one, I am picking up like a nanny cam or a cam run or a, uh, a person that's putting cameras up all around the house before they go away. Or they do have that. Or they have a grandma or grandmother that looks after the children whilst they go away. Because I'm picking up that people are all coming towards this energy of the sun to ask everybody, look, we all want to go on holiday and we all want to do our own thing. But is there anybody that's going to be left behind that can look after the house or the home or the children? Now, that would normally be like a grandmother, okay, is what I'm picking up. So, like, Grandma, can you look after the kids whilst we go out or I go out on a date or something like that? Or can you look after the business whilst we're not here? Something like that. Something like that. But your energy is very good here. Because there's a lot of warmth, there's a lot of protection as well. Like, protective. Protective. Mm. So what have we got? 17 minutes, 17, 18 minutes. Um, Leo, something rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node for July. Leo, for July. Leo, for July. I keep picking up that you've got Capricorn slash Gemini here now. So I don't know whether that's getting complicated or not. There seems to be like a great, huge work ethic here, like an ethic of work. Like I'm addicted to work and I'm addicted to love and I'm addicted to everything. But um, like I am financially stable enough to be able to do what I want here. Okay, to be able to do what I want. But this could be a Gemini or Capricorn or both. Okay, and then you've got like a Leo slash Aquarian. You've got some complications that could be coming up with the sun and the devil, which means a mother or a father and then something to do with this devil, okay? Because that's obviously like the son of God, right? The son of God. So it's kind of like the grandmother, the godmother, the, the stepmother, the stepfather, the godmother, all that kind of thing. And I'm picking up that some of you don't know if you want to, like, mention this to the godmother or the grandmother or something like that or... Or something that you notice that it really isn't that great, <laughs> you know, that could be some sort of toxic feeling coming up. I'm also picking up that someone starts to feel sick for some reason, like plane sick or air sick or something, or like sick, sick. I mean, is this pregnancy and someone's pregnancy and suddenly they start feeling sick here, sick. I don't know, I mean, at the moment, there's a lot of energy here, like huge energy, but I just don't know if this is going to end up being like a wrong move. <laughs> like, am I like, am I going to make a wrong move? Like, if, if we go, are we going to make a wrong turn? Like, if we just suddenly get in the car and go, 
like, am I worried the fact that I'm going to, like, get there, but there's not going to be anything there? <laughs> a bit like, um, what was the film? Like, uh, st uh, not Stir Crazy. Where he goes, fuck you, Roy. And you go, give him the wrong finger. And they're uh, moving with Richard Pryor. And they suddenly move, but they realise that when they get there, that there's nothing there. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like this satisfied but dissatisfied energy. Like, we get there and it's all good. And it's like, man, I can't wait. And then we get there and it isn't as good as what I thought. And you're like... Oh, it's not quite as like great as what I thought it was. Something like that, or like some sort of disappointing energy, like but not disappointed, like satisfied but not fully satisfied. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's a worry here about leaving someone with someone. Like it was all good, and then the devil came up, and it's kind of like like because the better the devil you know is someone that you know, right? Which means that you know this person. But you know what they're like, because they can change their mind a lot, because that would be a six, right? And it might mean, like, temptation. Like, if we go out and you're on a diet or anything like that, is there going to be temptation there for you? Like, if we go around a pub or a boozer and that you're an alcoholic or something like that, and we go into a pub or we go, like, on an all-you-can-eat, or we go on, like, a, uh, what do you call it, um, where you go on holiday and then you pay, but you can have as much as you want to eat or drink or anything like that, if you've got anyone that suffers from an addiction, it's kind of like that worry about like being there, okay? Because it's like, like, are you sure that you're all right doing that? Because is it going to wind you up if we go and do it? And you're kind of like, well, no, look, we've got some time off, so we might as well. So like this energy of the devil, can, like, you know, addiction is out there all of the time around everybody. And everybody suffers from some kind of addiction, okay? So um, it's kind of like this temptation feeling of like, there's going to be temptation all around. Are you sure you're okay? Okay, like that. Like this temptation all around, are you sure that you're going to be okay in this circumstance if we go and do that? Okay. So this is what I'm picking up. So I don't know if that's alcohol or food or... I, I really wouldn't have thought that it's drugs. <laughs> right, but it's a bit like party favours as such. Are you okay with party food? So you could be dealing with like a Cancerian for a lot of you and it's their birthday this month. And it's around like drink and stuff like that. But well, I mean, trust me, Cancerians had that surveillance. So it really could be because I'm hearing party favours. Okay. Well, because the actual Cancerian reading was so worrying, <laughs> right, that there was a lot of surveillance and cameras and stuff and like temptation all around. This devil energy is now getting me to look at that that Cancerian reading could be in here somewhere. And it might be involving like a seven. Okay. And because I'm hearing that there's temptation all around, and are you sure that you're going to be okay with that? Because the Cancerian reading had a very devious kind of energy of like addiction, <laughs> right? Addiction. And um, it was around, uh, well, it was around surveillance cameras and stuff like that. So it feels like that, are you sure that you're okay with leaving me with this? But we might be watching you whilst we're not here because we might be putting cameras up. So that kind of thing, right? surveillance cameras or you're going out and you're looking for a camera and you want to buy physically buy a camera or don't forget your camera something like that or camera don't forget camera okay so we're going to go on with the rest of your reading that is your tarot reading so hopefully you've watched your channel stuff that came out before this there'll be a video that should take you back to that if you haven't Okay, uh, but if you want to watch the rest of this reading, it goes to both tiers, tier one and tier two. You can find all the links provided below to it, and you can also find any video that also explains that to you also before you join if you're unsure. Okay, but after these is where everything goes to the full access bundle, where we do weeklies and all that sort of stuff. All of that goes to the full access bundle, but this one goes to both. So it's up to you if you want to join, it really helps the, out, the, out the channel if you do. Okay, but uh, this specific one will go to both tiers. <laughs> You can find the link provided below. Thanks very much, Leo. I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll hopefully catch you over there.